recording well today's project is a little bit daunting um it means cutting another hole in the airstream okay i really couldn't subject it any more of that nasty wood noise anyway what i'm going to do here is cut a hole in the back of the trailer uh, to give me access to the space that i'm going to create underneath the new rear bed uh, it's a bit of a tricky project though because i have to be able to cut a neat hole in the two skins aluminum skins of the trailer and then create a neat hatch um, anyway i have a few tricks up my sleeve and i'll show you about how i'm going to do that cheers Well, as anyone could imagine, there was some gunge in here. The bloody famous steel angle plate was causing some issues in here. But really, not too bad. Not too bad. A little bit over on this side, which I'll have to deal with. But uh, on the whole, that came apart a lot better than I thought. Anyway, time to tidy up. Cheers. The really great thing about the um, early Argosies is that they had these beautiful aluminum um, extruded frames for the doors and the and the frames for the uh, the actual frames for the, for the cabinetry. Basically, the way the doors work is it's a it's a, it's a two ply panel, and the extrusions basically have two troughs in them, and they just slip over the two plies, and then you just miter the corners and put a screw in there, which will drive into that. Um, trough in the extrusion, bolting it together quite rigidly. Add a few other screws in uh, through some of the block on the inside and you have a very rigid door. Nice little aluminum hinge that's also just riveted on that I can reuse for my cabinetry. So that went well. And the frame itself has a trough in it uh, for some wood molding that we're not going to use. And if you look at the extrusion, this is the basically the lip that the door sits against. Um, this is just all the framing for it. This is the trough for the uh, wood trim and I'm just going to slice off that side of it so that I don't have this extra lip. And I just put that in the table saw and cut that off, which means I then can bring the aluminum from the skin of the trailer right in against that trough. Now it's impossible to get it exactly right in the trough, but if I get it close and then I just take another thin little piece of aluminum and I close that gap up and put some rivets in. So that's turned out to be a really, really great way to make these um, these, these lockers that I'm making, and I have an abundance of this material because I'm taking the whole interior out of the, out of the trailer. Well, this, uh, this rear hatch is going really, really well. This is actually the core of the hatch that I'm going to laminate the existing rear skin back onto. It goes there, I had to make some clearance for it. And uh, further down here, I have the frame made for the hole and the frame for the actual hatch is made up um, and everything fits and test fits and I've tried the hinge. So basically, I'm just going to glue this skin onto here and uh, flip it over and trim the edges of the aluminum skin to the door hatch and uh, all should be well. All right, well, we're done. Worked out really well. I'm pleased as anything. Doesn't open very far because of the... Uh, license plate light and the bloody uh, Argosy light thingy, but that's okay. So I now have a nice uh, trunk through to my uh, through to my under the bed space. Looking forward to it. I need a latch now. I may actually replace the little band piece and just put it along the bottom of the door. It might work out really neat. Anyway, cheers. I'm Phil. Bye. Welcome back to the Gulf Coast of Texas. Um, here on uh, San Padre Island. Uh, today's project is very similar to the uh, rear trunk that we did a couple of days ago. Uh, today I'm going to do a locker right here for the generator. Basically it'll be another door almost the same. And that goes into a slot uh, underneath, the, underneath the bed as well, but it's behind the bathroom. So it's a good place because it's kind of hard space to use. And the generator will slide it in there on a, um, on a heavy duty uh, slider. I don't know if I'll actually be able to run the generator there. It might cause too much vibration, but it's a place to put it and a couple of other things. And it solves this problem where my old battery door was and I lost the battery door. So I have to patch it anyway. Um, there's only one problem. The side of the trailer is curved, whereas the back of the trailer was straight. Uh, but I've done some experiments with the extrusions and I'm going to be able to make it, uh, to make it curved very, very gently. Thought it would be good fun. Anyway, so that's part of today's project, and then we're uh, hoping to finish the, uh, the bed inside, but anyway, let's keep moving. Cheers. Okay, 
So because the side of the trailer is curved, I have to curve all the vertical pieces of the aluminum extrusion sit against the trailer. And it hasn't gone too badly, actually. Just, there's an abundance of sandbags here on the beach, so all I'm doing is just very gently, mm, gently-ish, pounding and flexing in slow, careful amounts. And I'm getting pretty much the curve I'm looking for. Now I've made this piece way too long because like anything else, if you're trying to bend it, you can never bend near the end because you don't have enough mechanical advantage. You're only gonna be able to bend six or eight inches in uh, so that once I get the good curve in this section, I'll just cut the two ends to fit. But anyway, I'm really, really pleased with this. And of course the inner extrusion that's used on the door frame will be much easier to bend. I'm not gonna try it now because I haven't experimented with it, but I think that's gonna be a piece of cake. Really, really pleased. All right, the bed is gonna come in right at this level here, all the way up to about here. It's going to be fairly large, nice double-sized bit. Um, but I need a ledger because the plywood has to sit on something. So I've marked it all off all the way around. And I've made up a, uh, a curved piece of oak to make that turn. So once I lay this in here, it will fold right in against that line. And if I'm careful and move slowly and gently, I won't break it. I was uh, clever enough to start some of these self-tappers before I got wrong. Good. Now I just got to line up my lines and uh, work my way around. Awesome. Just finishing up, getting ready to put the uh, the bed in. Actually, got the floor patched, and I got the this whole area here is the storage from outside underneath the rear bed. This area here is the generator locker, which is access from the side, and the generator locker the hatch there and the rear trunk hatch here. Both of which turned out really well. I'm super, super pleased with them. I gotta put some latches on them, but I wanna find something really kind of robust. Um, I'm abandoning all the original 110 wiring in the trailer. I'll take out the old fuse box and the junction box, which was down there. I put a neat little patch on and I'll cover up those, those little holes. Well, and here we are. All the framing is done. I'm really, really, really pleased. It's amazing how strong uh, thin panels, well, I'm using oak plywood and uh, and actual oak hardwood is for uh, building stuff like this. Anyway, this is rock solid, bulletproof, and it's done. A couple of temporary supports. Um, that of course is a generator locker, so there'll be a wall there separating the bathroom from the bed. Um, there's gonna be a credenza along this side so that you'll have no access under there. That'll be batteries under there. And then through here, there'll be drawers um, that come from the bedroom that shoot way under there. So that. The structure for the drawers will hold it up eventually, but I'm just glad to have this done. This is a long, hot day. Uh, time for a shower. Really bad. Cheers. Hi, if you've enjoyed this Airstream video, click at the top and you'll go to the next uh, video in the series. If you click the middle link, you'll end up with the uh, playlist of all the Airstream videos, and the bottom link will take you to the next regular Travels with Jordy video. As always, thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed it, please comment. Um, and uh, let me know what you think. Cheers.